So, Zabrowski, I think, you, what? Yeah, no, I know, dude. Do you want to get going? It's Saturday night. And I started late. I'm sorry. He was here at 10.15, and he's like, where is Mark? No, I told you I had things to do. You didn't get my text message? I left you a text. No, I'm, just do your job now, okay? This is what you get paid the big bucks for. Give us the woohoo. Woohoo! Still pulls it, like, out. You know what I mean? He's pissed off. Why did you leave me waiting? I'm here. Leave me in the lurch. 45-minute wait. Did you hear that woo-woo? That was a solid woo-woo for a 45-minute delay. Like, he gave it to us. He was like, you know what? Even though this was very unprofessional of Mark, I'm going to still be the professional I am as a brosk. I'm dropping a Grammy performance. That's what we just got, you know? Oh, I, where were you, Mark? I got here at 1015. I know. I send you a text. No, Zabrowski, you need to start reading your text messages. I know you were what you were playing. What were you doing? You're like sending like little messages back and forth between you and your wife. I can't wait until I finish my woohoo so I can go home and, and snuggle. What were you doing? No, uh, listen, it was still very good. And you're not getting paid overtime. I'm sorry. Look, sometimes you have to realize that life happens. And I can't get here for the 1030 start. And I was starting a little later. And on those days, you got to just think about the other 977 days prior to today that you got a freaking paycheck, right? I mean, like, you're going to complain? We went over last week how interesting it is that you're always like, come on, let's go, get my woo-woo out. And then you'll bring, like, your favorite novel to the bank as you wait for the check to be cashed. You're like, whatever. You do you. I'll sit over here. I'm on chapter three. There's 37. And you're just like... Hmm. Oh, you guys... Are... Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm on chapter eight now. This one's a thriller. No, you... I, I really want to see what happens at the end of Saturday. So if you got things to do right now, don't worry about it. My check, it, as long as the cash is good... Let me finish chapter eight. Now come on over there and we'll finish up this transaction. <clears throat> I know you, Zabrosk. I understand you got some weird things going on. It's like immediately in this and then like whatever on that. Some people just have nerve, you know, like what's that, Joanne? No, I, I told him that, you know, he should give a little bit more respect to the show. And then maybe just be like, hey, guys, whatever. Whenever you want to do it, Mark, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to give a woohoo. But instead, Zabrosk. You know, that's why I'm so stringent about the quality of the woohoo. If it's not good, I'm throwing a shoe at you. You, you got to watch out, Zabrosk. Like, you got to be prepared for a potential projectile to be thrown in your direction. When you don't do a good woohoo, you know, you're like, woohoo, what happened? I'm trying to get ready for the show. I'm trying to get up here and you're getting woohoo like that. What are you doing? I'm at a loss really for Zabrosk. Like, no, 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 Zabrosk. You don't have to explain any further. We get it. Grammy. He said, look, I'm a Grammy winner. Look, they heard you. Nobody wants to hear that, like that you're all Grammy, you know, like, mm, look at me. And that's why, look, you managed to get here on time today while you were polishing your Grammys. You still got here on time and I couldn't get here on, on time for the start of the show. But you're getting a freaking check. Joanne has it for you at the door. So enjoy it. Enjoy that novel, too. How does it finish up? Let us know. What's that, Joanne? Oh, yeah, no, I signed it already. Just freaking give it to him. You know what, Joanne? I'm kind of sick, you know, of you asking all the questions mid-show. You know, I'm in the middle of the show, Renaissance Man Family. You're back there in my ear. You know, most people would have a hard time continuing on the path, continuing with the show when you got that going on. <laughs> you know, like, how do you guys even tolerate it like you're trying to focus in on what i'm saying and all you hear is freaking joanne back there you know like she's you know filing like i don't want to hear you filing can't you file when i'm not on the air you know what I mean? like what are we doing i'm here trying to get into this quiet mode you know what i mean where i'm just like and all i hear is freaking paper shuffling back there oh my goodness
It's unbelievable. No, no, Joanne, listen, no excuses. I don't care if you have another job that actually pays you and, you know, you're trying to make it work with doll hairs. I'm giving you the doll hairs, 500 an episode. Don't, like, poo-poo that. You can go online and sell those doll hairs to someone in India. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But I think that there's a market for that. So I'm giving you 500 doll hairs per episode. It, you got a file a mid soliloquy i'm right in the middle of a monologue and you're nim, 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 nim. oh let me put the zabrowski file back i can't believe that you know what i mean and i'm still waiting for my first interview she's like i'm gonna get you interviews I, she just brought me one freaking interview i'm here i'm like look let's do some renaissance man interviews like what do you want who do you want to talk to i'm like Anybody, Joanne. Listen, I'll have anybody and anybody in the world who's got a passion that wants to discuss it. And I don't care. I'm not going to research. I just want to have a conversation with them and get to the human level. And she's like, I got you. I got you. We're going to make this like an interview a night, Mark. I said, look, Joanne, that's my vision. My vision for the show is we have a live song, we have a live piece of comedy, we have some inspiration, and then we have a, a call-in view slash, you know, like interview. Every freaking day. I'm here every day. Why not have an interview every day? She's like, I got you, Mark. Guess what? Guess how many interviews we've had since we brought on Joanne. <laughs> That's a zero. Yeah. We've had, I don't know. No, Joanne, don't give it to me like, oh, I left messages. She's leaving messages for people. You you can't call back twice. You can't try to see if you can send like a follow-up. Oh, I love messages. You know what? I'm not sure this is working out, Joanne. I may have to start interviewing new producers to back up the Renaissance Man show because I need somebody to take care of Zabrowski. Somebody to keep him, like, pampered, keep him happy, keep that microphone nice and, and balanced, you know what I mean, so he's ready for his woo-hoo, and you open the door, close the door for Zabrowski, you know, you, you gotta make sure, that's what I need from a producer, but then that producer also must find us an interview a day, I mean, that's just kind of like par for the course, and also accept 500 doll hairs per day, yeah, you know, that one I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anybody else to go for. Joanne, she didn't read the freaking contract. She's like, go oh, $500? Okay. No, doll hairs. <laughs> you got any dollars? You got to listen, you know? Oh, I thought you had a speech impediment, Mark. No, I didn't have a speech impediment. I said to you, doll hairs. And you're like, mm, I can go for $500 a day. How about 500 doll hairs a day? How you doing with that one? You're sitting there at home collecting bags of freaking doll hairs. You got like a full closet worth of doll hairs already in four weeks. We're filling it up. Your whole house would be doll hairs. I'm getting different colors. And then it's just going to be like some weird, ugly, like, ugh, mess. You know what I mean? Like people are going to try, one day they're going to call you the hoarder, like the hair hoarder. You're like the hair hoarder. Everybody's like, eh, remember the lady? She's the hair hoarder. I'm like, what? What do you mean? You go in the house, freaking hair pours all over out on, on to you as well. And you can't, And she also used some sort of product where it sticks to your skin. So you can't get it off once it's on. You look, walk around like a cat. That's what you're going for right there. But you went, you know, look, you can't break the contract now, unfortunately, because there is a life or death clause at the, at the bottom. If you don't Zabrowski it, if you don't take care of Zabrowski, keep him happy. If you don't live up to your contractual obligations, you die. It's not even like you, you quit or like, you know, you do something else. Someone else hires you. Nope. Once you join the Renaissance Man show, it's life or death. I mean, bottom line, like, I thought you knew that. That's why zabrowski has been with us every single day. He knows, like, it's like, look, I got a gig. It's life or death. I'm going to bring it. You better. What did he give tonight? Guys, what did you give Zabrosk on his woohoo tonight? Did, did we get a number? I didn't didn't get a chance to look through the chat. But usually it's a number between 1 and 10. There's been a few that are like in the mid threes. Zabrosk went home crying on those nights. So, guys, don't be too difficult on Zabrosk when it comes to giving him your 1 to 10. Uh, but I think it's probably, to me, Zabrosk, that today was probably in the... Um, I'd say today was in the eight range, guys. What do you think? Like, he brought it. I think it was because he was pissed off. He's pissed off that I left him in the lurch. 
then he just went like, I'm going to go after it tonight, and I'm going to give Mark the shivers. He's got to start to show up up here. You know what I mean? And so Zabrask, you're a good guy. Joanne, give him the freaking check. And uh, maybe your last task. I think I may have to hire somebody else because, Joanne, you're not pulling your weight at all. I'm going to file mid-show. Don't ever file mid-show. Nobody Renaissance Man fam wants to hear you. Zabrowski file. Like, what is going on with this guy? <sighs> anyway, how's everybody doing? I guess we started off with a little Zabrowski bit. It seems to be where we go with things. You know what I mean? Like, when you're a Zabrowski, you got to deal with it. 